Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest streaming version to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is fairly easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And firstly, you obviously have to get the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. If you already have the loader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course you gotta follow me. So just go to search on a fire stick, open the search bar, and then you start typing downloader in here. And now, as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Just click on it, and here is the app, which you gotta get to your device. But then, after you got downloader, it's not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So in order to actually stop the loader, we just go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, and then scroll down and open My Fire TV. So open it, and now from here, what you gotta do is turn on the developer options, which you can see on my screen. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's gonna say, that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you go to install unknown apps, and from here all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we just go back to a list of apps on your Fire Stick, open it, and here is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All we have to do in the VPN app is connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Czech Republic right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in the description of this video, you will get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we just go back to a list of apps on your device, locate Downloader, and let's open it together. So just open Downloader, and here in the search bar, we'll need to enter a link which will be streamia.com. So let's enter that link together. Once again, it's streamia.com. 
just like that. Enter the link. Make sure not to make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, then the link is not gonna work. After that, click go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Firesticks. And then when the website opens, you have to click that sandwich button, then go to the downloads page, open it as well. And now we need to keep scrolling until we see the Android versions of the app. So here is the Android. And for the Fire Stick, you need to use the ARM APK version, which is at the very top of the list. You click on it, and the load of Streamium has now started. It might take up to 10 or 15 seconds to download the app, depending on your connection speed, of course. Then click Install, and just wait for the app uh, to finish installing on your Amazon Fire Stick device. And then don't click on Open yet, instead press Done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't need anymore on your Fire Stick device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your device. And it's really important because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And then when you go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, here it is, let me open it. Now let's bit, wait a bit until it loads. And here at the bottom, you will find the Streamio app. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the home button on your remote. You click on it and then press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. And then enjoy the streaming app, of course. See you next time. Bye-bye.